Welcome back y'all. Joining us now is Adriana with the city of Tyler. We're keeping city of Tyler Tuesdays going even if they're a little virtual. So Halloween is obviously this weekend and she's got a whole lot of fun activities leading up to the holiday. Good morning, Adriana. Good morning. So what is Glad on? Back. Yes, we are happy to have you. So what is on schedule this year? Yes, yeah, so it's going to be a little different because we're still being cautious about COVID, but we do have some great activities happening on the at the Glass Recreation Center on Thursday from 5 to 7 p.m. We have the fa Fall Family Fun Trail. So we're going to have vendors with booths there, a lot of photo opportunities. Uh, you can get to meet uh, Shorty the Squirrel, which is our mascot, and she's really fun. And we also uh, obviously a lot of candy and it, we encourage everyone to come in costumes. So it's going to be lots of fun. Is there going to be any costume contests or anything going on around town? No costume contests, but at the library, if you come dressed up, you can pick up a book for you to keep. So any kids from babies to seniors in high school, if you come in your costume to the library, they'll give you a book of your choosing. Obviously, this year looks a little different. Does the city of Tyler have any advice for families planning to go trick or treating or anything this weekend? Yes, we definitely do. We we ask that you keep using the social distancing rules. So try to keep six feet away from any other person trick or treating. Make sure you carry hand sanitizer with you and sanitize every time that you can. And as soon as you get home, wash your hands. Wear a mask, um, not just a costume mask. Those are not going to protect you, but like uh, an actual face mask. And if you want to paint it or buy one that has something that goes with your costume, that'd be great. And for people giving out candy, just make sure everything is prepackaged and in the little bags and you just leave the candy outside and you can watch the people from the window. Just try, don't try to make a lot of contact with them. Actually, I'm working on a story today that will air during our four o'clock show. Just kind of different ways that we can still have fun for Halloween, but just be a little bit more conscious of everything going on this year. Doesn't mean you can't have fun, just got to be safe. Yes, and for the glass recreation event, just make sure you pre register if you're wanting to come because we do have a capacity limit just to keep everyone safe. So you can just go to cityofchiller.org, look for the parks page, and you can find all the information there. Sounds good. Thank you, Adriana. Looking forward to it and have a happy Halloween.